Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechach Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to, to the sincere Akim across the globe that's pushing this word and our truth and sincerity. Okay, it's the brother Yah Rock from GMS Houston. And uh, I just want to do a quick lesson. Uh, just dealing with the uh, topic of the day of the Lord. All right. Uh, you know, the day of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, okay, who the world ignorantly uh, calls the Most High God, which his name is Yahweh, and his son, uh, who the world calls Jesus, which his real name is Yahweh Shai, okay, who is the deliverer of the Israelites, okay, first and foremost, all right. But, uh, right, the day of the Lord, man, uh, a lot of our people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, uh, the Israelites, all right, uh, especially the so-called, that's into the so-called Christianity doctrine, you know, uh, believes that, you know, the day of the Lord is just going to be a, a, a day of peace, love, all right, that uh, the Lord is just going to come with open arms and uh, saving any and everybody, you know, regardless of what nation you you uh, you, you are, regardless of uh, your deeds, your actions, how you live your life, okay, with the, regardless of what you believe in, you know. Uh, no, man, the Lord is coming back with a uh, judgment he's going to bring forth, man, all right? It's not going to be just a, a all-loving, peaceful time, man. It's going to be a lot of death and destruction, man, okay? Uh, so I'm, I just had a few uh, scriptures uh, to make my point, and that'll be it. But uh, I wanted to start with Amos, all right? Amos 5 and uh, 18, all right? Uh, Amos 5 and 18, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Woe meaning uh, destruction, okay? And it says, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? Okay? where will, Basically, where will you stand in that day? Okay? Because like I said, uh, the Lord is not just going to come and with open arms, man. It's going to be a day of reckoning, man. A day of judgment, <laughs> you know? All right? Amos 5 and 18, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay? As if a man did flee from a lion and the bear met him or went, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Okay? What the scripture says, man, basically, you won't be able to escape the judgment, man. Okay? If you're found uh, to be uh, wicked in the eyes of uh, the Lord, all right, which this is mainly geared towards the uh, Israelites, all right, we already understand that the heathens, the other nations, they have no chance at all, man, okay? So it says, uh, once again, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Okay, so there is no escaping the judgment from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. Okay, um, it says, verse 20, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Okay, Isaiah 66 and uh, 15, all right, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay? So, right, it says the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Okay? And the chariots are the, uh, what the world perceives as so called UFOs. Okay? But they're actually chariots of the most high power. Okay? And it says the Lord will come with fire 
and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Okay, so these chariots are gonna be shooting out concentrated uh, uh, fire, man. Okay, destroying destroying this place, man. Okay, see, uh, Esau likes to make uh, movies like uh, what's the uh, Independence Day uh, as an example. Okay, you see, but really. You know, those are the chariots of the Most High, man. You know, and the movie we're living, all right, we're living in the Most High's uh, movie, all right. But in the, you know, in the Most High's movie, the chariots are gonna overcome. All right, see Esau, he, you know, his films, you know, the uh, the so-called UFOs come in, and Esau will set up a, a so-called hero to. Uh, to fight against them and uh, destroy them and come out uh, as the hero, all right? But in actuality, all right, the, uh, Esau is, is not going to come out with the uh, with the win, man, you know, which that's another thing, too. The scriptures actually goes into that as well, all right? This devil is actually going to fight uh, or attempt to fight against the, uh, the chariots of the Most High, fight against Yahweh Shah, man. OK, that's the whole reason they pushing this, the space X and all these space uh, programs. All right. Building these uh, these uh, these uh, laser beams and all this, you know, putting all the uh, resources into the space force and all of this, man, because they're actually going to try to fight against Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. OK, but that's a losing fight. According to the prophecies, man, which we understand, man, okay? So just to add that, you know? But uh, going back to the scripture, Isaiah 66 and 15, all right, it says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, okay? And to mention this as well, those same chariots, you know, are going to deliver the elect. Okay. So continuing on, verse 16, it says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay. So <laughs> that's, you know, something serious, man. All right. I'm showing you that the Lord is just not all loving. To any and everybody, all right? Uh, Yahweh Shah is not going to come and, and just deliver any and everybody, regardless of uh, what they do, what nation they from, you know? Hey, man, it says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Okay? So, uh, another scripture I have is... Uh, Real quick, this is my uh, Matthew 10 and 34. And, and this is the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shah himself. Uh, red letter, okay? Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. All right? That sword represents judgment, man. Okay? You see? It says, think not that I come to send peace on earth, but I, I come not to send peace, but a sword. Okay? Now is the time, all right, for you Israelites to receive this word, man, to uh, take heed to this word, all right, uh, while you still have a chance because uh, the doors of uh, mercy are closing, man, okay? There will be a famine of the word, all right? You see, the Most High sent his servants on the highways and uh, byways, man, to, uh, you know, give warning, man. Okay, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. All right. So a lot of our people think think it's a game or, you know, not taking this serious. Still want to, uh, you know, dwell in Babylon. Still want America to, to bounce back so they can continue on to do whatever it is they do. 
all right? Or just think that the day of the Lord is just going to be, you know, I'm, I'm good. I can, you know, uh, I got a Bible in my house. I got a Bible in my car. I, dr I drive with a Bible on my dash, so I'm automatically good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the mind frame of, of our people. But, hey, man, you're going to be in for a rude, awake, uh, rude awakening, man, okay, if you continue to have that mind frame, all right? So, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to end there. Once again, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechah Padash, the by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopefully elect. Shalom.